It's 24-6 and uh, Nas, just, it started off first 8-10 minutes, it looked really positive and from there on it was all downhill. Yeah, it's, um, it's not really all downhill, it's just that uh, it doesn't really look like Arnold, the Stormers are going to score and uh, they sort of rely on penalties where um, they gave a couple of opportunities to uh, to Targa and they scored four tries and that's what uh, they need to do in a game like this is to get the bonus point there but um, tight five is not bad at all um, we spoke about it and we've all mentioned it that uh, it looks like uh, the loose four is really struggling to to get to the breakdowns and uh, that's really making it more difficult for the back line because uh, there's always Laney in the back line or the blind wing in the back line and uh, Brown doubling around. So it's uh, they creating gaps where the, the, the loose port should really get there and, and close it down for, for the Stormers. But uh, overall, it's um, I don't think we, we're very surprised about 24-6 uh, at the moment. It's, it was sort of on the cards and um, it just looks like uh, the body language is telling a story late in the first half that uh, okay <laughs> you're uh, tough to come back from this sort of situation before we talk about that though how difficult is it to go down under there and and try and pull off a win away from home no, it's very difficult especially in the house of pain i mean uh, you can look there's only two sides in the super 12 ever that one in new zealand and that is uh, the sharks and the stormers last week so it's very difficult and you know they're, they're playing against a side uh, who's got confidence who's got a winning habit and uh, at this stage, I would say the tight five is doing well um, from the Stormers, but they've got no backup in the loose forwards because, like now said, I think uh, the loose forwards uh, doesn't get to the break-off points. And then also, I'm quite surprised to see the defence uh, changed a little bit in the back line, whereas uh, when Flecky is playing, he's closing down the space on the centres mm. and he's not giving uh, the, the Otago back line any space. But now they, they're having lots of space to play the ball and I think that's why Laney and those guys are coming into the line because mm -hmm. they see they can just run. And every time the ball is going to the back line, they get over that vantage line or either they, they're creating a gap and get through. And I think a uh, thing that's, that must be looked at also is first time tackling. Um, they tackle, bounce off and they just pass the ball and that's giving them momentum to play. More and more the basis of good rugby these days, and you would know better than most people, is defence first? Yeah, I would say defence. I mean, uh, but then again, uh, we at the Springboks, I mean, our first uh, defence is attack, to be, <laughs> to be quite honest. If you can keep the ball in hand and just play from there, uh, you don't have to defend. But what, what's actually happening now is when they're starting their counter attacks, they're kicking the ball away to Laney, all he's doing is catching the ball and kick it back. So I think they must look at that to keep the ball in hand. This week, uh, while we have uh, some extra time to chat, I'd like to hear from both of you. Phil Pretorius was saying that uh, the referees are, are really making the game very difficult this season, particularly. They've come out with the attitude that the referee is more important than what he really is. Your thoughts on that, firstly, Joost? Well, <coughs> I'm not allowed to, to say anything <laughs> bad about referees. <laughs> but what I can say is, is I think uh, Australian referees are quite up to standard. I think uh, of all three countries, they are doing the best. And then, uh, well, I must say, it's you must, only, you must remember they're only human at the end of the day, I mean, they can only blow what they see, but uh, also, I mean, one or two games you can see they're very subjective more than objective. Nos, difficult situation obviously because there has to be someone on the park, but Phil does make a very good point. Yeah, but um, it, in a way it's true Arnold, but it's still coming down to the discipline of the players also. If you take any second phase, any player that arrives there and stay on his feet can't be penalised. That's how simple it really is. And uh, we spoke about the scrums also for quite a while uh, last week. And uh, there it's, it's really up to the professional attitude of the two front rows. Don't try and be scallum. And don't try and take somebody down close to a goal line to try and get a penalty or a penalty try or whatever. And uh, maybe it's, uh, it's, uh, it's true that uh, they do dominate the game. We, we saw there Kronfeld getting penalised and there was no reason for Kronfeld to really get penalised there. But um, they, can, they can only see on the one side and that's where we still believe that uh, they can do a lot when they bring in the second referee. We go back live down to the House of Pain with our commentators Grant Nisbet, Greg Cooper and an Afrikaans. Can you listen to John van Rensburg and Uli Schmidt? This is not here now. Isuzu drivers have proved how easy it is to get to the top. Because once again, Isuzu is South Africa's number one selling bucky. 
Thanks for your support. No one delivers like Isuzu delivers. Look, it's a tough line of work, make no mistake. Nobody moves in on my turf, pal, I promise you. Mostly I just wait around for something to happen. Sometimes I get in before the ambulance, guys. I just hang around while they cut the poor cup. Ah, you know, a lot of guys think they're safe with these side impact bars. They've got airbags, these crunching things. You don't want to see what I see every day. What do I say to people who think I'm a vulture? <laughs> can afford a real holiday. Get your Goodyear tires at a minimum of 40% off. The real tire sale only at For the youngster on the I'm sure he'll bounce back. There'll be no problems with him in the future. 